we're going again. Even though I didn't go anywhere, we're back with RimWorld Biotech. Have to say it for the algorithms. RimWorld Biotech. RimWorld Biotech. RimWorld's new DLC. Biotech. Gameplay. Gameplay. RimWorld Biotech. Gameplay. No. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> that's hours. Oh, that's just for this recording. Yeah, we might go longer. What is this? This is uh, this is RimWorld Biotech. It's the new DLC for RimWorld's, uh, RimWorld's playthrough. RimWorld playthrough. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play RimWorld. RimWorld Let's Play. <laughs> Gotta get those algorithms. It's like, what's going on with this guy? After, uh, did you say biotech? Yeah, it's, it's called RimWorld Biotech. It's RimWorld's new DLC. Gameplay. 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 <laughs> I think Adam's having a stroke. I told you, I'm dreaming. I am dreaming, so. All right, after we get those traps up, we'll start working on the wall. New DLC, you say? Yeah, it's called Biotech, Johnny. Yeah, Biotech. Easily make a pond, but can infinitely live off of berries while caravanning? I think so, yeah, even without tribal background, yeah. Tribal, he had a sniper rifle in his possession. What? Leet? I didn't know that could happen. All right, so for anyone that doesn't know, now when you roll upon, they uh, can rarely have a possession. And usually the possession has something to do with their background. And it's generally, it can be like a weapon or a hat. It can be a little bit of food. It can be drugs, whatever. Uh, uh, just a small item or whatever. But you got a tribal whose personal item was a sniper rifle? What wouldn't cause that? A plant pot. Yeah, something small. I haven't seen that. Tin kibble. Hey, the child is converted. I've been wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all in, my, in the stream. Nothing at all. How does he have a marine background if he's tribal? I don't know. You just had a telescope. That's really nice. Ranger child and bush sniper, and he came with a sniper. That's, that's kind of crazy. That's really nuts, actually. Really nuts. All right. All right, let's rebuild that. Uh, we'll start on these outer walls. We'll worry about doors later. The drags zone. Oh, it no longer has a size limit for the zone. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a very minor quality of life fix, but I like that one. Yeah, they really let me know. I, I hadn't noticed that yet. A cleaning bots. I have a hauling bot and a construction bot and a uh, I'll, I'll show you. So we have this one, an agrahand. This one plants and cuts trees. We have a constructoid, which as you might assume, it constructs things. We have lifter who just carries things. Uh, for some reason, the cleaning bot is the next tier. We're not to that one yet. I've already used the alt button. Yeah, I've used that a bit. And then we have four um, combat mechs. So, but yeah, the alt button is a really nice shortcut for information. What are the control groups? It's so that you can control what the mechs do separately. So you see that I have all the combat mechs just staying dormant unless I need them. That way they don't waste their energy. So you can have two control groups baseline, it looks like. Yeah, no problem. Is there a point in growing any other food besides rice? Yes depending on what's going on. So rice is more resilient to bad things happening because rice grows so quickly, especially in a rich soil. So like if your rice burns or whatever, you have an event and the rice goes, whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, whereas corn takes a long time. Potatoes, I highly suggest you to never plant potatoes in rich soil. Potatoes have such a low fertility sensitivity. Potatoes are fine in normal soil and they're actually the best thing to plant in stony soil if we're not talking about tunnelers. So basically, Plant potatoes in stony soil, like uh, you have a lot of that in like desert maps. You can plant it in normal soil, it's fine. In uh, in rich soil, rice is so fast. That I usually use it, you're, you're, you're trading work time for stability basically. So if you are more worried about work time, then switching over to corn as you go can be a good thing. 
for me, I know I'm going to be playing long playthroughs, and I know I'm eventually going to get there. So I go with the safe route, which is rice. And you need about 15 rich soil plots of rice to feed a single colonist forever, with some left over. What's the best for hydroponics? Uh, rice, yeah, because you can't do corn and hydroponics. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Potatoes, um... And, and then the other food now, what's going to be interesting is we're going to have to look at um, at berries now. So with the new genes, there's definitely a chance that uh, strawberries end up being a very good crop for people that can't get um, uh, food poisoning and some of the other genes as well. Pink squares on children should be fixed now. Uh, okay. Well, I might, I might reload it in a little bit then. Let's see, corn. But yeah, for like a general purpose playthrough, most people that aren't like, you know, you're going to play a, a normal length of time, you're not really min-maxing like crazy or whatever, having some rice and then some corn is a good idea. And then, unless you're on a map that doesn't have great soil, in which case, plant potatoes in the poor soil. Rib world. I'll never forgive, never forgive Tynan for rib world. Also, thank you, Tynan. I hardly ever use a freezer to store food. Yeah. So in most of my playthroughs, I don't usually use a freezer. The reason I'm using one now temporarily is mainly for the toxic waste. And the reason why is I set up my food bills so that we never have more meals than what we can eat so that they're not going to rot outside of a freezer. We eat them before they rot. And corn lasts 60 days and rice lasts 40 days unrefrigerated. So as long as we're not super overproducing food, then we don't really need a freezer. Okay, new raid. Randy is becoming active. They're attacking immediately. This is smaller than the last one, so this is a smaller Randy roll. And they are Neanderthals, so they're going to be uh, pretty tanky but slow moving. I kind of like that, that we now look at like, all right, what kind of group do we have, you know? That's kind of cool. Definitely adds another uh, another layer. Were they all melee? All melee, okay. Meals usually make per pawn. So a pawn, a baseline pawn is going to eat two meals a day. Meals last for about three and a half days. I usually do about four meals per pawn. You can do a little bit more or a little bit less. We got to start causing... Oh, there was another group. There was another group. And they're tanky because of Neanderthals. Brozankian oinking as he got shot. That's gonna get that's gonna take some getting used to. That's gonna take some getting used to. Eight hours. Okay. Oh god, the turkey's still there. I forgot about the turkey. Get him, little mix. Nice, nice job. Found some blood donators. That's actually what I was thinking too, yeah. If they're not good, we can still do that if they survive. Need to tend to these first. All 
I just I just heard someone use a smoke leaf uh, joint, and I'm hoping it's not the kid. <laughs> oh, you fine with him carrying an LMG and killing people, but not a little smoke leaf? Uh, well, the reason why is not anything out of like being pure and whatever. It's uh, it's because they have smaller body size and they will uh, lose consciousness faster and therefore, you know, go unconscious, fall unconscious faster. We actually gonna save that one. We might. He can handle it. Next growth moment at seven. He's five right now. Four of these bed clusters, are they worth it? Yeah, because one end table increases all four of them. Yeah. You can connect one of those to, to four at once. So yeah, they're definitely worth it. So I want to get this outer wall done and I want to get to, maybe I can just go ahead and get to advanced research. If I can get us making, um, do we have anyone that's really good at crafting actually? No, we need to find a crafter big time. Most of the Nelix is already updated as well. Unwavering prisoner, you can't recruit them. No matter what you do, you can't recruit them. Yeah, it's a new type of prisoner. Can you infect pets with vampirism? Not that I know of. All right, let's try council again. Hey, we did it. We canceled the minus 16 mood, so now we can switch them over to a normal schedule. Vampire thrombos. Unrecruitable prisoners, how does that work? They just literally can't be recruited. Some prisoners now just literally can't be recruited at all, which is going to kind of suck, because imagine uh, finding a godly pawn, and you just can't recruit them because they are the new kind of prisoner. Psycho for Oh, okay. Uh, those are the things that the kid can... There's his death rest coffin. <laughs> Good lord. Um... it's <laughs> actually nuts. I'm gonna see what it takes to make another sub-core, actually. You can, you can enslave them, yeah, but you can't recruit them. Why then wa wavering prisoners exist? I mean, it kind of makes sense that not everyone you capture from an enemy is going to end up being everyone's best friend and join the colony and want to work for the greater good. So it makes like a lore and story sense, but it does suck. It does really suck. Yeah, you can make your own godlike pawns now. Yeah, that's cold snap. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Also makes it so maybe slaves are more enticing to get. Can you enslave them? Yes, as far as I'm aware. What can you do with the dead machines? You can break them down into resources, which I will do. We could just go ahead and do that at a crafting spot. We don't get as much from it. Well, I guess I might as well. How long until we can do this? 12 days. Good. Our additional prisoners add to the pool. I am wondering, yeah, how the, um, how it's going to impact population curve and population intent. We'll have to see. Oh my god. Drop pod raid. I was not, uh, prepared for that. Oh god, they might- they're in, they're in.
Kid's running from the fire. No, one of my mechs got hit. Two mechs down, two mechs down. What a mess. Oh man, I was on like 4x speed or something when that first hit. Day is not a good time. Kids unreliable under pressure. Someone caught on fire and he ran. Just got the child soldier background. <laughs> it's an hours. 12, 7. Sparky really needs our right. Into yourself. Friggin' pigs. Kids these days running from fire while they're getting hit by grenades. What's wrong with them? Yeah, we had a drop pod. Drop pod raid. Very, very messy. Stick them with the pointy end for the LMG. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I would say. What's kind of cool, I noticed during that, is the construction mechs. They were still just going around building and the pigs ignored them, so. That's kind of interesting. Go ahead and eat that. Okay, table's back up. Crap, we gotta get that room sealed. Stuff is starting to deteriorate. Okay, the barracks is closed back up. Where's that kid? Clean up, kid. We're gonna have breakdowns. Clean. It's great. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Should I get a background based on what type of calling you have? I'm not sure. Oh Christ. He was having a breakdown, so. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. Challenges. Yeah, we were talking about them earlier. There's going to be like an endless amount of challenges we can do. Even just, just basic things like playing only as one faction no matter what sort of thing, you know? Even something as small as that is going to offer a lot of uh, a lot of new challenges. Some of my little mechs died. Hmm. Dead for less than a day. I'm gonna have to see what we can do about that. I, I'm pretty sure you can rebuild them somehow.
Why not floors? There's no reason for floors yet. Uh, mainly because of wealth reasons. Are you using an ideal? Yes, we're doing fluid ideology. Right now, it's just supremacy and human primacy. So, if I put down floors right now, raids get bigger, on, especially on this difficulty. So, we're just going to wait for a little while. Yeah, there's definitely some way to bring them back, and I don't know where it is. You might need the cores to even bring them back. Sign a group, auto repair, draft. We can select overseer. Resurrect light mech. So what do we need? Oh, it's just 25 steel. That's not bad at all. Yeah, there we go. That's not bad. 25 steel. It's fine. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, I missed it in there. Yeah. Man, it's actually cold in there too. It's not good at all. Biotech that becomes biotech. mod working with things like dropping to 1x i don't know yeah it didn't feel like it did with that drop pod but it might be because i just panicked so let's see those take 50 steel and two components okay that's not too bad either that's not too bad we're just gonna nah, we'll just leave it on for now it's fine okay I'm actually really surprised about this uh, cold snap. I thought I picked a map that wouldn't have as many. Well, I mean, it was in the middle of winter, so. Okay. I'm not refueling those now. Yeah, we're going to need way more components than normal, which is going to be insane, too. Game is already pretty uh, component hungry, so. When this uh, cold snap's over, we'll go back to our expanding here. Mechs, though, can go ahead. Mechs doing all right, John. Fence. Oh, yeah, I read that. Winter has come. That's fine. How many more days on this? 11. Okay. Hoers. We have, uh, we have mecha mechanical hoers now. You're like, what? What does he say? People who need sleep too. <laughs> Have a good night. They bring it out. Chaos. Okay. Let's go by the white set. How close are we to having a mech swarm? We already do, kind of. We just had two of them die, though, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We were up to seven, but two died. But missing one corpse. What? Oh no. Okay, there they are. I was about to say, can this actually. Oh god, I didn't even think about that. We're gonna have to be careful about which mechs we do and do not destroy now. Resurrect light mech needs one corpse and 25 steel. Why is it saying we're missing a corpse? Hmm. Is there a mood debuff for losing mechs? Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't appear to be. There was allow friendly. Oh, for the deconstruct. Thank you. Allow large, allow fresh, allow friendly. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Spawn, thank you for the bits. Miss Bad Attack, thank you for the gift sub to Evil Gwyn. Thank you. Zombie, thank you as well. 
Tastiest Boopert Burr. Free Adams GF Lish Frost Duzzy. Thank you as well. Oh, I completely... I gotta remember to do that. It was a zoning issue, which is usually the main problem with things like that. But it's gonna be really crazy because now I have to remember to do mechs, animals, and uh, people. So, yeah, that, that's the problem. Thank you. Yeah, that's gonna take a lot of getting used to. The venison and the scent of it apparently terrifies one of your dogs. That's weird, yeah. Hmm. Good. What's that? Right, Ricky Bobby? Uh, Ricky Bobby, thank you for 10 additional gift subs. <laughs> thank you again, Ricky Bobby. Today's been unreal. So they do have to gestate again for the full time. It feels like they might should um, be reduced if you're using a corpse, you know, but... Uh, there was a small update that fixed breach raids and the body bug. Thank you. Yeah, I'll reload. Thank you. I'll reload just a little bit. No, I doubt anything like that's ever going to happen again. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, traps are back up. We're surviving this cold snap. We got to get the, uh, the walls done. So... Eventually, it's going to be too thick right there, so we'll skip one for a door. Bug with the music is hilarious. Heard you mention it on YouTube a bunch. This is the first time you've experienced it live. Yeah, it is really weird. Yeah. A lot of people still ask me about it, too. Yeah, it still exists. Yeah. Okay. What are we doing with the mechs? We had two of our mechs die, so we are resurrecting them at the moment. Yeah, it does seem like Randy woke up a little bit, huh? It is cheap, yeah, compared to, like, losing costs, especially because they didn't get any mood hit or anything like that from it, which is uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Always got to be mindful. Going to Prairie. Oh, the bug, yeah. Go, plant cutter, go. He doesn't have much to do right now, so he's out just chopping trees, which is good for us. Gotta be careful now, though. We're down to two of the little shooting mechs, so. Gene pack, time to go full. Must create a cat girl army. <laughs> Psychopath is a good trait to have. Psychopath is not that great anymore. It used to be considered really good but the reason it's not so much anymore is if you have ideology you can just make everyone not care about corpses so uh that was part of its strength obviously it still has some other some other benefits but yeah it's it's not like a super great one now nowadays use as nutrients in a growth vat you can grow babies in blood oh my god let's go into decaying first time we update on stream yeah i think we're being here Update for the multiplayer mods. You're going to try out biotech with friends. That sounds pretty fun. Especially with all the new stuff to worry about. Man, I wish one of those prisoners would have survived so we could have gotten blood from them. Oh, it's already set. Okay. The sea command is not up to date. This is just some random map. Yeah. Nothing special about this one. It's great. We'll add doors later. Let's just, uh, just get it done. Just get it done. <laughs> Come on, you're calling us donate some blood. They could, but we get a minus five boot from it. Hey, the cold snap's over. Nice. Winter has come to an end. Transport pod. A relationship. Cable of violence. Baseliner. Who are they in a relationship with? Uh-oh. We'll pretend we didn't see them. Solo mechanics were run. Not having the mining mech at first is a pain. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. Thank you, Viserys. We're going to your assignments. Finishing it playing yourself. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. Despair. Ah, they'll be fine. Don't worry about them. 
I'm sure they'll just get up and head off the map. It's fine. It's fine. See, they would join if we were, even went out and like tended to them. They would just join. I don't think I want. Oh, I don't want them. No, not really. Not really. Hmm. It's interesting that's not getting uh, repaired. Hey, we got an SMG from that. I didn't even realize. Here in trying to get everyone, uh, everyone recovered from the craziness. have a charge limit now too uh like when they enter the map i didn't see anything like that yeah because the lore behind it is that the there is this you know broadcast that's basically making those mechs do what they do and this transmitter that we have allows us to psychically link with the mechs but if we're not linked to them for too long they'll go back to the hive mind so i think the ones that are hostile from the get-go are just still Hive mind mechs. I don't think they're gonna um, just like go down from charge or anything. Oh, what if that? Oh, I'm gonna try it. Feeding on her will kill her. Are you sure you want to? Ah, oh, she died. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I mean, oh, um, good thing she died. Murder at five. Ah, uh, he's already... Hang on. That's a good question. Records. This, this kid has three confirmed kills. <laughs> he's five years old. He's got three confirmed kills. Watch some runs on YouTube. That's awesome. Thank you for watching over there. Thank you, Pool. What's my plan with pollution? Right now, I'm just dumping it outside the map and worrying about it later. That's my current plan, is to just say it's someone else's problem for right now. Okay. Volcanic winter. Oh. Wow, that sucks. That really sucks. Hopefully got some more uh, raids coming. Fitting kills, it was because they were so close to death. Yeah. Vampires stop child aging. Vampires still age. They just don't die from age. Go hunt. Well, we will when we need to, but I don't want it to do right now. It does suck. We're at 500 human leather. We should probably go ahead and get that sent off. Who's our best at trading? Atomic. Um, Atomic, can you fin for yourself if we send you off? Uh, yeah, it's okay. All right, we're going to go to the world map. We're going to go over here to the pigs. And we'll send the childs, I guess. And we'll send Atomic. Uh, I'll take all this leather with us. That's it for right now. Just in case they have a breakdown or something, we'll, we'll send them with additional pemmican. Okay. Right now, the age 18 to stop. Gotcha. What is the pig race good at again? Um, They, if I remember right, well, let's see if it just tells us. Pig skins are human pig hybrids. They are hardy and can eat almost anything without getting sick, but their trotter shaped hands are bad at fine manipulation. They don't see well at a distance, so they usually focus on close range weapons. So, um, worse ranged aim. They can eat just about anything. Um, and then they're not, they have lower manipulation because of their hoof, hooved feet or hooved hands. 
how many converts are going to start doing monstrous methods? <laughs> oh, right. I forgot about these. Can we have the kid rip skulls out? Cannot prioritize. We'll never do dealing with. We'll never do dealing with. Uh, no. The, the child will never do dealing with, so we can't. Wait, is that a kid? There's a child. All right, we're going to remove that child's skull. Are there, are the child's skulls the same size? They, they are. They are. If anyone was wondering. I never do dealing with either. Can Pigskin have kids and normal colonists? I think so, judging by the um, information we got in the preview, but yeah, I don't know. We don't know yet. Come at support. Oh, crap. Sparky, let's go see what they got to trade. Child can't even deal with it. Possibly the quotes are endless, yeah. You thought it was a child raccoon. No, it was just his name. Yeah. Just named. Deathless. So Deathless cost... Deathless plus two. Small castle containing package. Uh, genes. Deathless, animal war, call, and alcohol dependency. It's a whole gene pack for 2446. Interesting. Yeah, we gotta get this base up to like mid-game so we can really start going into this stuff. Uh, I I really need an EMP. Maybe we'll just end up getting to a point to make our own. That's a bargain. That's a bargain. Jay Liet, thank you for the 53 months. Yum, Transmat, thank you for the four months. T Cope, thank you for the two. Decaying, thank you as well. Done <laughs> sweaty handles, welcome in. All right, we're finally uh, basically fully repaired after that event. So, that is good. All right, Max, um, we want the hauler unrestricted for now. Also, I'm going to go ahead and repair these two. Increase child growth speed in the settings. You go into the right, you click on options, you click on gameplay, click on modify storyteller settings, click on custom and scroll down to the bottom where it says child aging rate. So it defaults 400%, but you can make it looks like a couple hundred percent more than that. School bench for teaching later, make sure to build the blackboards. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll get all that stuff set up too. Uh, we're only 14 off from being neutral with the pig people, and we can trade and see what kind of stuff they uh, you can trade to them for. Okay. Any things added not talked about in the blog posts? Um, I'm... Well, I mean, we we looked through all the genes, so lots of things like that, but in general, not so much uh, that we've ran into yet, I should say. Hands back. Your first Psy ability was a godly roll. That's right. Chunk skip. Best in the game. Never forget. Sorry for your loss. Eats meals made with another xenotype like the pig. Does it still flag as cannibalism? Uh, it seems to, yeah. Seems to at the moment. Okay, that one is ready. 
Does he keep the same name? Cannibal's back! But he doesn't have to reassign him to the next group. Welcome back, Cannibal. I did miss you. Oh, crap. As soon as I put the rice in here. Yeah, I gotta stop doing that. This is just for our uh, pollution. All right, now we're putting, uh, was it Ram? Was Ram the next one? I don't remember, but anyway. What are people doing in the waste packs? Uh, well, I found an exploit where you can just get rid of them, but uh, I've been just dumping them off my map aside from that. So. Pretty much just, just dumping them. He's not a cannibal or a person. He's a robot named Cannibal. <laughs> that was his random name. Do you generate trash if you don't have robots? It depends on the buildings uh, that you are using. So there are buildings that cause uh, pollution. So yeah, it does depend. Uh, there is a new building that gives power. I think it's like 1,400 watts of power, but it causes pollution. So things like that. Just depends on what you're uh, what you're using. Surround your base with the moat of toxic waste. Yeah, we'll have to do a theme playthrough of each of the factions too. I'm actually really looking forward to that. So this is going to be the whatever experimental playthrough where I'm going to try to get to mid game and we're just going to do like all the things. And then uh, a little bit of all the things, I guess I should say. And then... I think I'm gonna do some uh, some some themed playthroughs, maybe of each of the factions. So I can put up a poll to see which factions people want to see first and stuff like that. Maybe I should have made the entire outer wall first, but whatever. Oh no, we got the rot stink there. Uh, yeah, the the sound effects are are just paused for today because I I know that I would have been doing nothing but reading them off and listening to them, whatever. So, is there new music in biotech? I haven't heard any new bio biotech music yet, so I'm thinking not. Excuse me. First few bags in a pond. Got a couple infestation pods after the first curated. I haven't gotten those yet. Yeah. You can reroll ponds to get pregnant ones. That's interesting. No, not 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 usually. Mage. Let's go on Jabril. Welcome back. Yeah, there we go. All right, get that cooked. We're going to have to hunt until this is over. Volcanic winter, it's only lasted three days. It can last much, much, much longer. On average, it lasts about 20. How do you make it so ponds drop chunks on the edge? You'll have to watch the cheese run. I show that in the cheese run specifically. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do it in this one, but long story short, you have to end up doing a an exploit with caravanning and then you have to take that person you exploit the caravan with and drop it on the edge manually but if you want to see details of how it's done you'll have to watch the cheese run over on youtube a wild man bridges hey it's a hussar first hussar i've seen cycling death body purist nudist lazy maybe some food all right So now I can actually feel better about setting these to hunt. So for anyone that didn't see, they did change this so that um, 
your people won't follow animals into non-allowed zones to hunt them. So. You can see gene composition by clicking on the race inside the bio page. That's kind of cool, yeah. Thank you. No, I hadn't clicked on that yet. Yeah, we were going to end up having to hunt. So we had all this other stuff to do. Yeah, it's a really good fix because sometimes you'd have them like running into mech clusters or something if you weren't paying attention. Man, that sucks. Stupid winter. Uh, terrible construction. Um, no. For ship launch in your previous run, almost perfect timing to start biotech. Yeah, we were almost done with my previous run too. And, but, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, well. Oh, uh, well. Can combat max hunt. They don't go out and hunt, but you can send them with your person or within the control range and you can have them just kill animals. We did that earlier. Are you a fighter? Are you food? Just passing through. Food! <laughs> That's exactly right. Exactly right. I mean, this still does grow, you know, but... How do I choose which part of the base will be the kill box? It depends on the playthrough and what exactly I'm setting up as a kill box. That one. If I'm doing, like, a more standard... Oh, right, there's another zone there. Uh, if I'm doing more, like, standard one or whatever... Then I typically see if there's any, like, terrain we can take advantage of, especially, like, water or mud or something like that to slow down enemies. And that actually is in a shape that we can take advantage of. Other than that, I try to just point it uh, away from the closest entry to my base from the edge of the map. Those are the main things for me. Uh, is this playthrough going up on YouTube next? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Troy. Yeah, it's, un it's unreal. It's still un unreal. All right. So in order to save time on the growing zone and to make the uh, barracks better, we are going to go ahead and start converting over to art and concrete. So we'll go ahead and get those done as well. Okay, make sure that's set up. Looks like we got some more components out there. There's probably some steel in there somewhere. Thorns, welcome in. So. Yeah, but I'd love to get up to like 12 or 13. Why concrete? Because no other floor... Oh yeah, I forgot. These runs, Those runs haven't gone up on YouTube. I don't know when I'm going to do that. But uh, we have discovered in the last few playthroughs that I did that literally no other floor in the game is as efficient with wealth and raid points as concrete and statues literally nothing else for mood for mood you might be like well, what about fine tile what about what about fine carpet nope nope concrete and statues and the reason why is because there's a there's several different beauty stats for every spot and one of the main reasons why is the beauty here spot so if you go into beauty here you see how these flowers are 15 but the beauty here is 5.3 so if you have someone standing there they don't get the beauty uh the beautiful or gorgeous environment buff even though there's a 15 there because the beauty in that spot is a five however concrete and a nearby statue will max out the beauty so you can get gorgeous environment literally everywhere in your base with just concrete and a few statues so it, it's kind of crazy yeah it's kind of crazy but yeah there was a, several playthroughs that i've done between the no kill box and this one where i started using that Statue to floor. It just depends on the size, yeah. Uh, as long as the statues are in range of where the ponds are, and you want to put them where, like, the most people are going to be working and passing through um, as you can, obviously. But, yeah. Can you paint the concrete? I know you can paint walls now, but I don't know about concrete. We'll have to see. Is that concrete in the game? <laughs> yeah, it's Amazon Warehouse Beauty. That's right. So we're still working on that outer wall. It's actually coming along pretty nicely. We gotta be getting pretty close to um, getting the additional ponds too. 
Let's see. Four days, four days. No ammo to run? No, probably not. It's not a great place anyway. You can paint the floors? Excellent. Excellent. Statues better than spraying them around. If, yeah, it depends on the spot. So again, just check what the beauty here spot is, where your people are. And if it's not to the tier to get whatever beauty tier you want for the buff, then yeah, putting another one will stack. They do stack. Painting floors. It's kind of crazy. How goes it? It's going all right. It's going all right. A little slow paced, but uh, we finally got some scary raids, a couple scary raids. What are the grids for that I'm planning? Mainly just remembering where I'm going to eventually put rooms. Um, I don't know what all. Yeah. What's in the glowing tank? The It just finished making a new uh, shotgun mech. There's advanced lights. Let's just go ahead and knock some things out that we are going to definitely want to get later. Like the gene splicing stuff. Yeah, um, so these ones, actually. I'll go ahead and remove those ones. These ones are just guidelines on how far out I wanted the outer wall, because I am going to do a lot of... If we make it there into late game, I'm going to do a lot of kiting. I'm going to do a lot of assault rifle, kiting plays, and stuff like that. So I wanted to have that room. And this is just the actual base. Thank you. Paint something? I will, yeah, I will. Don't worry. I have to get my actual stuff set up, so I'll be painting all kinds of stuff. How would I deal with a psychic ship if it fell now? Uh, if it fell now, what do we have? I would probably just go fight it. Where It depends on what was in it, but yeah. I'd probably go fight it and uh, try to kite it. We only have one, one weapon for kiting, though, so I need to get a barrel. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get one. All right, let's go ahead and take this one out. He's back. Ram is back. Way to go, Ram. Way to go, Ram. We resurrected him. I wish it would put him back on the control group he's, he was on when he went down. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and designate power off on that for right now. Send the child to wake it up. That's probably what I would maybe do, actually. I was <laughs> just going to paint. Yeah. Sounds about right. Can you make barrels? No, not without a mod. All right, so where are we gonna put? So with this one, we'll put like the kill area over here. So in the long run, that'll, that'll be where it goes, so. Recently had a challenge, how to deal with X. Got a cool technique on how to do it. Oh, what was the question? I missed that one. Sir Whistle, thank you for the gift sub. Link, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Sycophant, thank you as well. And Zizzo, thank you for all the Twitch Primes. They count same as a tier one sub, I've been told. Play new DLC along with all the old DLCs. Uh, it's up to you, I, that's what I'm doing. I. So I actually did a back to vanilla run recently where I played through with no DLCs on stream and I really, really missed ideology. So, but yeah, everyone's going to be kind of different with it. Barrels are too circular. That's right. Can't make, uh, can't make them. Wild person gets any closer, we're going to eat them. Three more days, three more days. Okay. All right, uh, let's go ahead and start with some of these doors. New lovers, oh no. Oh no, can the child fall in love? Gonna put a few of these out. At the moment, I'm not really concerned if they're in a great place or not. <laughs> I hope not. New lovers. 
Uh, Kin Q and Arilla. Arilla. So, um... Oh, we need Hemogen. Uh, it's gotta be a human. I was like, can you suck on that rat, child? Child, can you suck on that rat? Is anyone happy enough for this child to suck their blood? Anyone? The wild person. The wild person. Where is he? Fifty percent chance. He can feed off a colonist, but they get they get a uh, mood they get a mood hit. Minus five. I know you can extract it with medicine too, but I wanted to try to get a prisoner so the child could just eat eat on them every now and then. Hmm. Here, we'll try the arrest, and if he doesn't get arrested, we'll just kill him. Oh, we got him. We got him. Nice. Do psychopaths care? I don't know. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see if there's any traits that don't care about getting fed on. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you. Yeah, so there is a romance chance now. Um... Yeah, he does not have the romance button, so. Bastis, I don't know, because there's a direct mood hit. It's not because of the pain, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Either way, though. Okay. Bridge is getting chewed on. Go, child. Feast. Feast. There we go. So will he die if we do it again? Ah, uh, I see. So that you do have to wait for that. Serious blood loss, leaving him unconscious. I don't care. Do it again. There is no romance romance button for the kid. Yeah. Oh, you just want to see it on someone else. Yeah. Social romance, low opinion. Interesting. Oh, it actually gives you the chance. So, so like, if I want them to try to hook up with my character, there's 11% chance I can force them to try it. Oh, did I misclick the second, um, originally the second time, man? Yeah. I'm not sure. The child is a vampire, yeah. He is. Feed versus feed on. <laughs> it will kill him. Does it say it on the hover over suit? Yeah, will kill. All right. Why is that one romancing? <laughs> I specifically ordered it. Exactly. All right, we're almost ready with that stuff. Got those doors done. How much steel do we have? Okay. Get that steel as well. Those are steels. Those are made of steel. Okay. All right. Let's get this uh, converted over here.
go from there. Sanguins used to have a mod for vampires, which is laggy. You can't wait. Yeah, it does seem like a pretty cool one. I do want to do one that's all vampires from the beginning sometime. Stakes now a new weapon. Not that I've seen. Under prisoner, you can set it to hemogen farm or blood feed. An operation to extract hemogen packs will be automatically queued on this prisoner whenever it can be done without killing them. This operation will be carried out by a doctor. What? Blood feed. Wardens will ignore this prisoner. When a blood feeder's hemogen levels are low, they may feed on this prisoner. Other prisoners who are blood feeders can also feed on the prisoner. Uh, no, not yet. I'm, I'm good. Thank you. I'm going to convert him first anyway. Actually, let me look at his ideology. Supremacist Raider. He doesn't care about corpses. Yeah, we're going to convert him so he'll eat meat. Eat people, I mean. And then we'll, uh, we'll have the feed on thing. Look at that. Extremely impressive. Nice. How's your barracks so impressive? It's the concrete. Obviously. Obviously. Ah, uh, troubleshoot. See, we give something to my wife. Thank you, troubleshoot. So much for shooting. Apostle thing for the Twitch Prime. Shoots thing we give something to Doc Trex as well. Thank you, troubleshoots. Pizza thing for the six months. Bear for the Twitch Prime. And Sir Whistle. Here we go. Sub to Tiny Lego Jesus. What's up with all the Jesus names today? <laughs> Link, thank you for the Twitch Prime also. How did Mod Wife not get hit during all that craziness? I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, it's nuts. It's really nuts. All right. Look at that. Very impressive. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, I'll move a couple of these over there. All right. that done that'll be good enough for now is this the cheese run no it is not as I digitally sin <laughs> um from running into insected yeah so click on mechs there's a mech tab and you can just choose their zones just like colonists or animals but they have their own tab how you got a sub click something and agreed no someone gifted it to you <laughs> we, we had so many gift subs so you don't you don't have to worry about it. if you got gifted a sub it means you can use the emotes here it also means you won't get ads here for a month um but it, it doesn't like bind you to resub or anything like that at all so you just got it gifted to you from some uh kind person All right, uh, so. I'm going to turn this into advanced research and we're going to try to get uh, into some of the real juicy mechs, you know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and suspend artwork for just a little bit. Yeah, it's actually crazy how many subscribers. It's actually crazy. Holding outer walls, no blocks. That one's supposed to be there. That one's being built. That one's being built. Being built. Um, this should be being built. Okay. All right. Storage shells are part of 1.4, not part of the DLC. So if you have 1.4, even without biotech, you'll get the new shelves. Is there a way to have more than two control groups? I haven't ran into it yet. So yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. 
We're going to make two of those. Turn that back on. Whoops. Put the new cores there. Crafting backpack, which lets you use more control groups. Gotcha. Seems like biotech may make the late game easier. I don't know. Yeah, the enemies are pretty crazy. How's the update? It's It's been pretty awesome so far. Yeah, thank you for coming in. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be painting. Yeah. Is this vanilla? No, we are using all of the DLC. So biotech came out. So yeah, we're using all three DLC. I'm just going to go ahead and set him up for blood feed. Screw it. Hemogen farm option. Yeah. Yeah. Hemogen and blood feed. Two different options. Okay. We'll get this done. Where can you see the genes someone has? Click on them. Click on so. Uh, click on bio. And then click on their... Uh, race and then it'll come up and show you which genes that person has so if we like click on the pig person look at all they have strong immunity reduced pain pig ears pig voice fat body mid black hair skin color strong stomach robust digestion nearsighted trotter hands pig nose poor cooking and hulk body doing mechanator yes that one's well it's there intentionally so that we can melee block I can always move it later, but it's it was specifically moved over one so that I can three-person melee block from a drop pod if we need to. A xenotype, yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Genetic variation. That was CD. Oh, well. Oh, well. Speaking of, I need to move this. Move it away from the wall. No one will worry about... No one will care. Just wait until I get my hands on the paints. You're going to love it here. <laughs> People are like, oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, we are going to have a good time painting. What are my thoughts on biotech so far? It's, it's been a lot of fun already. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't tell you how good that right there is. Uh, so, one of the other 1.4 quality of life things is when you dr drug like a home zone like this, it would eventually get to a maximum amount and you had to do, you know, stop and do more. But look at this. Oh my God. That feels good. You just got, wait, Randy just dropped you to revive serums? What? Each... Area must be paint color coded uh, depending on the function. All right. All right, let's get that research in. Making zones as a sound effect. Yeah, they've added so many little sound effects. I like that. I like that. All right, let's get to that advanced research. Rainbow's the only way. Um, they're, I think you're getting close to needing to death rest, yeah. 1.4 days to avoid exhaustion. Uh, going too long without death rest will cause death rest exhaustion, which massively degrades a person's physical capabilities. Well, he's already just a little turd, so. Pixel art of the logo. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. I wonder, and, uh, I wonder if the blueprints mod will end up, uh, being able to save paint layouts like that. Hope so. We're going to need so much steel and components. We still are going through a volcanic winter, by the way. Uh, 33 scythers. Well, we don't have an EMP yet, so... <laughs> Let's say no.
Really don't like going out this far, but. My sound effects cool. Yeah, there's lots of little uh, little additions like that that have been really nice. Manhunter pack as soon as we went out there. First manhunter pack. What is it? Oh, Brozankian. Brozankian. 26 raccoons. Don't need to hold the door open anymore. Just leave one of the combat mechs on dormant. Charge outside the door, a trap tunnel. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea as well, yeah. I like that. Let's see how melee block works with these. One of them is already down. They're not dead. They go down pretty pretty quick as melee blockers. Pretty quick. But they can work. Got that gas stuff there. Uh, can you start hauling those raccoons out, please? Oh, our first mech cluster, too. We are not ready for that. Not ready for that at all. What is it? EMI Dynamo in 11 days. Hey, one of the new mechs. The Tesseron. The beam grazer. <clears throat> and it has a Militor. Excuse me. Scythers are still the only melee mech, yeah. How many times have I broke the Geneva Convention today? Uh, several, several. 11 days. 2.2 .2 days. The Inferno Turret is actually blocked. No idea how strong that thing's going to be. Hmm. 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 How close are we to getting a new person? Pretty close, pretty close. EMI means it's going to take out all of our electricity. All of our electricity. You know what, since we're using that as the same, we might as well just have it part of this room, honestly. Probably will. Because we're not going to do sterile floor yet. Electromagnetic interference, yeah, it takes out all of our uh, power. Where's all the mechs? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mechs so far. The end. Why do you use concrete floor? Long story short, concrete floor plus statues are the most effective wealth at increasing mood and beauty. Just 
It's just literally the best. And you get the movement speed from it as well. Like, look at the, the stats on this room. Very impressive. It's become a Neanderthal run after EMI. <laughs> no, hopefully not. Hospital. I usually do that later, yeah. But I don't I don't have enough steel to be using tile steel tile. Steel tile, for anyone that doesn't know, has a 0.2 cleanliness factor. So it's not as good as a 0.6 from sterile, but it still gives you a little bit of research boost, but. Can I take blood from the colonists for kids? I can, but it'll give them a minus five mood debuff. So we're just taking it from this prisoner. So the prisoner is set up um, to be a blood feed. So every time the kid needs to um, feed on them, as long as they have enough blood, they're not going to die. He'll do so. Wait a second. Will that just, like, bring the leg back? Or does no matter what, he's missing a leg now? Danger pods. <sighs> hey, we just we just put the leg back on. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, isn't it crazy, Marco? It is absolutely crazy. Probably inefficient. <laughs> uh, danger pods. Yeah, absolutely not. We, we just can't. We already have a mech cluster we can't do anything with right now. Yeah, we're basically out of uh, out of steel. Bench versus tile type work. Can you just put sterile under them or does it have to be, it has to be the room. It, it's based on the room cleanliness. So the cleaner the room, the faster the research. How am I finding the update so far? I'm liking it so far, yeah. Does the child need regular food too? Yes. Yeah, vampires still have to eat normal food as well. Those weren't bugs, yeah. Those are mech pods, so. No. <laughs> They were bugs. I might accept them to fight the mechs, but uh, no, those are not bugs. All right. I need a good crafter. I still, I still haven't found one. Okay, we'll put this over here. Oh, you can't? Okay. Shred max, do forever. Drop on the floor, not friendly max. Okay. I uh, need to make an EMP. Okay. We're going to run out of components pretty soon after this. Make a kid helmet for child soldiers. That is right. Hmm. Pollution from the chem fuel generator. Um, I haven't had. I haven't used a chem fuel generator, but I don't think so. Based on the preview, I don't. I don't think so. Connect face as an emote. Wait, which one do you mean, Sim? I think we've unlocked the emote slot today, so I'll probably be getting another emote. What is this polluted soil coming from? Am I just gonna have to clean that? A pog one. That's kind of what the D one is kind of like, but. Stream description page. Connect. 
Uh, all the ones down below the stream, we do have an emote for, so I don't... What is the connect one? No, we haven't had a mech cluster there. We haven't had a mech cluster yet. Mule's Crime's coming back. Hmm. Duke, they ring it out. Have a good night. Am I doing my waste packs? Right now they're just in the friggin' freezer until we get full and then we dump them off map. This, I understand why this is here, because that's where I was originally dumping them, but this, I'm not sure what's going on here. I wonder if the world's just getting more polluted. Let's, let's take a look. It's at 1%. Is this spreading towards us? You never could, Morpheus. That was a mod, yeah. You could never reinstall walls or power conduit without a mod, without minify everything. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of funny. You're not the only one, but some people have played with mods for so long they can't remember what's baseline and what isn't. Minifying walls has never existed in the base game. Yeah, I'm not sure why that's spreading. Mapper's causing, yeah, yeah, I know that, but I, I'm not seeing where would be causing it. Like, there's not a lot of, uh, nearby, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to bag it and ship it. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. All everything mods broke, too. All right, uh, let's do this before we deal with that mech group. What can you do if the pollution comes to you? There's several different things you can get to help with pollution, especially later on. But you can also just literally have your colonists go clean it up and put it into bags. So we did get attacked by a waster group. Is it possible that like some of them died when they were retreating and they dropped something maybe? You can transport pod filth, yeah. Hmm. It's Warriors of Chaos, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Something we're gonna have to deal with, I suppose. Boring, come on. Want more colonists for this fight. Is that where they staged? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it might be. We had a double, or we had two different raids. I thought they were on the other side, though. But that also might have been the direction that the uh, pig people drop pod right. They weren't wasters, though, were they? No, that was pig people only, I think. Yeah, I don't know. What if they drop pod you pollution? <laughs> do you lose relation when you send waste? Yes, you do. You can always move your base. Oh, come on. You don't get a recluse debuff. It just goes to zero. You just don't get a bonus anymore, so. Recluse isn't a debuff. It's only a bonus for having low colonist count. I'm gonna try that, yeah. Drop pod into the ocean. We were talking about that earlier. A wanderer, it's Yoshi. Oh god, Yoshi. What a terrible place for you to spawn. 78 years old. Looks like you're gonna help us with this. This mech cluster. Congratulations. Congratulations. now but now you do two to three yeah so it starts out with a plus 12 if you have only the mechanator as soon as you get another person it goes down to plus eight and it keeps falling from there what it starts to be a debuff at 11 plus okay thank you yeah i hadn't seen it so far so so it does get to be a mood deficit once you get 11 plus ouch sacrificing yoshi to achieve goals that's right can i remember which button it is which button is it Likely, this is Boo's domain. Yoshi. Uh, I've never played the open world mod, yeah. No, I don't know what that is actually. Colonist count and right number is the mood. Okay, so at a at one. Okay. 
So it caps out at a minus eight mood for 16 or more colonists. Wow, that sucks. Okay. That's rough. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. Pyromaniac, kind misandrist. Uh, if they survive, we might keep them. But we are going to use their body. Keep us alive. We need to for the mech cluster. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Man, I really need to get this done. Five hours. Crap. Crap. My makes your world online. Everyone can make their colony. Hmm. Yeah, I've never seen that one. That's interesting. I'm in children, eight, six, and twelve. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to have some deaths here. Lancer. What are the ranges on these? The range on that one's not super long. That one's pretty short, too. The Lancer's going to pop, though, and hit someone right at, like immediately. Uh, Split for YouTube? Uh, let me see how long it's been. Uh, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes, so yeah, we got some time. Thank you. What happens if you keep putting a child in age reversal? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Um, Let's go ahead and do this one, see if we get one more. Put one-year-old in age reversal? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happens. We'll have to we'll have to try those things out. <laughs> Do they become an egg? I don't have a barrel, yeah. I don't have a barrel. Well I mean we don't have to deal with them until the EMI is about to come. So can I go get a barrel in time? I mean, as long as we get the EMP, I think we'll probably be okay. Um, that turret's blocked from this side. Like, if we approach from this side, I'm just worried about these new mechs. Yeah, I don't know. Should have probably played more like I normally do instead of rushing to a big base, but ah uh, well. Ah uh, well. But yeah, we'll get the um. EMP, and then we'll go from there. Maybe I'll have enough to get um, smoke as well. All right. Got smoke yet? No, we don't. I know we have barrels that we make for guns. Literally, there's a research for rifling. I mean, some more. A lot more don't even use rifling. It's even less complex than a than rifling, but for a basic mortar. How long do I plan on streaming? I probably actually should get off before super long, even though I really don't want to. Uh, so I can get some stuff up on YouTube, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I've also not eaten. <laughs> right clicking goes the opposite direction. I do. Yeah, I've actually used it this time. So for anyone that doesn't know, there's several things in this that you can do. You can left click to go up, you can right click to go down, but not only that, you can shift left or shift right click on the top in order to do it for everyone. 
So a lot of people don't know about, about those, but yes, I've been doing those for a long time. I know, I know. That's what I think. I should probably keep keep going. I can't believe I'll probably never have this many viewers ever again. So it's hard for me to stop, but it's hard for me to stop. Uh, yeah, that's true. We'll see. We'll see. At least I'm going to go till six. So and I'll be here all day tomorrow as well. We can make a spaceship, but not a mortar barrel. That's right. Until the next DLC. <laughs> 30 seconds for sub, that's at least 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. All right. Man, I wish we had a better crafter. I was really hoping we get a, uh, a crafter to join, but that's what I should. Uh, so, piece of advice. So, we also learned that the... Um, incubating of the mechs and all that and repairing of the mechs is actually based on crafting. So, a piece of advice if you go with the Mechanitor, highly suggest your Mechanitor be a crafter. <laughs> Free food. Yeah, she already asked me once. Yeah. Is that going to be a perma kill box? I'm going to build a different one. I'm going to build a different one over here. Yeah. Waste cheese with an animal. What do you mean? Like, Lee? You have to have a pawn to go out with with them. You can make legendary. They don't have qualities, but you can end up getting the boss mechs and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. Mom, bathroom, <laughs> bucket. All right, we do have the EMP. Do I want to make smoke also? Smoke will help from the turret. I mean, we actually do have one assault rifle. A chance to use the new game mechanics yet? Yeah, absolutely. Straight from the very, literally like the first couple minutes of playing I did. Oh man, oh man. We can actually make assault rifles too. We have basically seven and a half days to make whatever we can. And we'll, whatever we have at that point. Like, maybe we get lucky and a raid happens between now and then, but. Oh, man. Mm. Sure wish we had a crafter, man. New song, this is P Music, yeah. This came out three or four weeks ago on P Music. No, it so whatever was on the animal in the caravan just goes into the, the caravan itself. So you can't abandon an animal with the stuff on it. That stuff becomes part of the caravan. God, I need a crafter. If no components are visible on the map, do you have to dig for them? Um, do you mean like strip mining? You might can find some that way. But your best bet is to trade for them if you don't have fabrication yet. If you don't have fabrication, then yeah, you're probably going to need to trade. Man, oh man. Hmm. Let me find one of those. What is that? We need to find a signal chip. Oh, I remember. We have to do the mech call in to do that. Okay. Growth fats. Look at that. Kid still hasn't grown up. Nope. He's six. One more quadrum and we'll get to choose a trait and see what that's like. Uh, let's see. Who are we sending out? Atomic. Atomic. Okay. 
Play the, lead the right way. Should dead rest him? I mean, we don't have a dead rest bed yet, but the other thing too is it says if they go uh, into death rest exhaustion, their physical capabilities are reduced, but I mean, he's a kid. He can't do anything anyway. Name the child. The child has a name. It's Experiment. Because he's getting all the experimental crap. Uh, what are the new factions we have in our colony so far? Just a pig man. Everyone else is a baseline right at the moment. And a single phage with a child. So. Uh, excuse me. Are you talking about Rib World pizza? Rib Worlds? <laughs> do age reversal. Infinite traits. Bye. We're going to need another Timmy. Big fan of Rib Worlds. Rib Worlds. Never forgive Tynan. All right. The child. Does sound pretty, uh, pretty intense that way. God, I was really hoping that, uh, we get a raid to take care of that. Child single phages grow up? Yes. Yes, they do. There's some steel there too. Oh god, I forgot to turn that one off. Well, I guess we can uh, get our double wall. If you add core, it's crib. Genius. I'm just afraid we're going to make crappy guns. Our best construct. Well, let's see what they find over there. If there is a crafting trainer that might fix the problem. Let's plan on making him a god pond. I'm just... If he turns out to be a god pawn, that would be awesome. But right now, we're just going to experiment on him with all the new crap that comes along. 50% <laughs> pain and 50% consciousness for bonding with a high mate? That is absolutely nuts, actually. Singularity kill box still working? It was a 1.4. Yeah, I'm not going to use it in this run, though, because it's a little it's a little too OP. But uh, I tested it on the 1.4 patch, and I don't think anything in biotech... We'll have uh, screwed with it. Although the impids might be able to breathe fire over it, so might want to be careful of that. <laughs> I haven't tested that part. Uh, how close are we to reputation? Minus 14, okay. We're at 14, we need 14. Now we can trade. What do the pig people have? Gene pack, cold plus one. Cold, super tolerant, and unstoppable. There's a barrel. Word of love. Guess we should get the barrel. Immediately short-circuited. This is this has all DLC. If you mean no mods, then I basically never use mods other than just a couple, like no pause and P music. In fact, that list right there is actually more mods than what I'm using right now. But maybe I just bring back the barrel. Hmm. Or I bring back components and we get to deep drilling and stuff. Really? Yep. Almost all my playthroughs. I have thousands of hours of playthroughs up on YouTube, and almost pretty much all of them are are just no pause, P music, and uh, camera plus. Can't decide. I mean, the odds of us hitting dead on with a single mortar is kind of slim, but we got to take out that... Man, they don't have smoke, right? Smoke pop pack. We could use that. I'm just going to grab components. It's unfortunate, but... Oh, well. Barrel for the win, yeah. It's tempting. What's the fact? Well, making threats more difficult? 
Uh, it depends. Yeah, that's in my wealth guide too. We do exclamation wealth. But in general, structures are less wealth than the materials that are laying down unless the structures have quality like art or whatever. Look at that pollution, man. Pods on your own, or have you never really gotten into them? I haven't really played them very much, no. I used to use more quality of life mods like four years ago, but I stopped. The children's gave the same raid points as a colonist. I don't know. I don't know. How many more days? 6.5. Oh, if only we had a crafter, man. If only we had a crafter. Okay, smoke launcher, make one. Hmm. Really sucks that I, my best crafter is like a three or a four. <laughs> oh, we need a four to even make it, ouch. Feels bad, but we need it. I'm not assigned to smithing. Oh, oops. Yeah. Looking forward to the Biotech Watch this whole week. Had some things to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really have time to play off stream, no. Slam pig hybrid. Half pig skin, half high mates. <laughs> I don't know. Slam pig. Mod is vanilla until you play vanilla again. Yeah, someone else was talking about that earlier too. Yeah, just that right there. I'm still not sure exactly what that came from. I must have missed what it came from. Still death resting without the special bed. Speaking of, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna make that bed right now for sure. But we we'll have to. We we'll have to look when he gets back. Man, I was hoping we would get. I don't think we can fight that in the open. Maybe a barrel was the right call. Then we could have at least pulled it. Oh well. Experiment getting a name? He does have a name. His name is Experiment. For attacking? I don't know. Yeah, that is around where the mech's prepared, but yeah, that would be an odd. That would be an odd thing, but it might be. Can different types of Xenohumans have kids together? I believe so, based on the preview. It means that Tynan thinks he could have an even fight with four eight-year-olds, but five eight-year-olds would defeat Tynan. <laughs> All right, well, we got an awful smoke launcher. Excellent. No, Adam, it's awful. Mortar accuracy determined by shooting skill, yep. In part, at least. Sight and shooting skill. Man, I was hoping for some kind of attack. Just not happening. <sighs> Have launchers always had a quality? Yes. How many vampire children can you beat in a fist fight? Have they recently had blood or, or are they withering? <laughs> Sign moral guide and crafter to boost quality. What? How does the moral guide increase quality of your items? I don't understand. And if you mean like the production specialist, 
I don't... I would need a crafter with a high enough skill to even start that, so I can't do that. Use one of this club to beat the others. Uh, it's going sheep herder. Welcome in. Yeah, I can't do production specialist. It takes a minimum requirement of six. So none of our um, crafters... Like, it, even if I made someone, it, they also wouldn't be able to make the guns that I need anyway. I know. I, I know. I already talked about it earlier, though. Like... I don't have anyone that's high enough crafting skill to make the guns that I need to craft. So that's the problem. And production specialists won't help with that, right? Because it doesn't give them any skill. It just makes it so that they craft uh, a quality higher. So can you rename mechanoids? You can rename your own mechanoid zip. <laughs> Install giddy up so you can have a kid on a thrombo. We still have volcanic winter going, geez. I think I'm just going to end up fighting this. I think what I'll try to do... I might end up losing here. Corset on an unpowered tailor bench. I, yeah, I know. I, I know how to level them up, yeah. I usually... We don't have... What I usually do is just have them make something like that, like... Um... Uh, wooden plate armor which is really slow to make early on or clubs or whatever but you know, I would but I would like someone that actually has like a passion in crafting someone that's actually already good at it but we do have one person with a, with a passionate Brozankian but the problem is he's a pig person so he has lower manipulation so he'll never be great at it or fast at it so Max cable to fight if Mechanosaur isn't capable of violence uh, I would imagine so I, I think so yeah but I'm not sure I haven't tested it. Yeah, you can even do wooden plate armor, yeah. All right. Uh, we are going to try something here. Might be a little, a little scary. We should wait till daytime at least. Let's wait till daytime. Give me a quote. No, I'm not doing any of the quotes today. Is that the current for the day? Yes, it is. Can you give pig people bionic arms? I would imagine so. I wonder if that would get rid of their reduction in manipulation since it's supposedly caused by their their hooved hands. Clonk! Thank you for the 10 gift subs. Clonk, the data goblin. Very much appreciated. Collect. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Doggy Devil, thank you as well. Brown Pain. Thank you for the tier 3 subscription. Thank you, Brown Pain. Also very much appreciated. Hopefully I haven't missed anyone today. I've tried my best, but man, it's been so crazy. Uh, did I use a mod to edit or pre-make your characters? No, but you don't need a mod for that anymore either. You can just choose the genes with biotech. But no, I did not use one to pre-make. It's crazy. Uh, Crate, they were the seven months. Thank you, Crates. Assume no. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to test that kind of stuff. Bionic hooves. Cargo pods. What you got for us? Uranium. All right. Well, as soon as the um, weather is good, we're going to try to pull this. I'm going to try to pull it. On oh, this expansion? Yeah, me too, me too. Thank you. How's biotech? It's good so far. Feel a little bit behind. I got a, l a little distracted earlier, just a little for some reason. <laughs> Vin, they really give sub to Commander, that other guy. Thank you, Vin. Melee only biotech run. It would be a lot easier than the old bio melee only run. Vel, thank you for the gift sub. 1500. That's unreal. That's unreal. I think I've only been over 1500 subscriptions total. Literally all subs in a month. One time ever. Why don't I build the singularity kill box? Because it's too strong. It's OP. That's why. Okay. We've got Mr. Sprock, welcome in.
you don't have corners on the base. It's just they just don't do anything. It's just extra work, extra materials, for, and you don't get anything. So I don't know. I haven't tried. We haven't found out yet if the mechs can do peaking or not. I guess we could technically test it right now, right? Let me let me look at something. So if I do a spot, let's do like a caravan or a sleeping spot. Sleeping spot, baby sleeping spot. Excellent, excellent, perfect. And we attack it. You see how we peek out? Let's try that with the mix. Let's see, we're about to find out. They do! Mechs. These mechs can peek. They can use cover and they can peek. Oh, that's actually really nice. That's pretty excellent, actually. A full... A singularity box fully controlled by mechs. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really good. Come on, man. Randy, send us a raid. I don't want to have to go take care of this, but I think I'm going to. Uh, no, it's not do all quests. No, just playing biotech, looking at new stuff. How many more days? Four days. Okay. Uh, first craft. Hey, are you good at crafting? I bet one of the people I killed earlier was good at crafting. Way to go, child. Feed on that blood. Is there a new ending? Not that I know of. The second I go out there to deal with it, Rainy's going to send a raid. That's what I'm concerned about as well. All right, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. As soon as daylight hits, we're gonna go pull it and hope for the best. Uh, I need one advanced component, or a, yeah, one advanced component. And then we'll be able to scan for our own steel forever. Okay. Randy can be sneaky that way, yes. Ambrosia, come on, Randy. Ooh, we're at 60,000 already. That's actually crazy. Look how inactive he's been on this run. It's kind of annoying. We are still undergoing volcanic winter. It's been 15 days, so no matter what, it's going to be a little dim out. All right. Warlock. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Warlock. Mad Caterpillar. Thank you for the resub. Back through YouTube tutorials. Darkest Dungeon content too. That's awesome. Yeah, those are kind of old now, but I think you're watching those too. Is that too much wealth? It's pretty high from where I'm usually at. Mechs contribute a significant amount of wealth. It really does seem that way. Not in like their, even the infrastructure as well. All right. Let's see if we lose the run. Why so slow, child? All oh, right, death exhaustion thing. So how do you do the death rest? If he doesn't have the bed, someone said you could do death rest without the bed. I don't, I don't see it. I can't. I might be blind, just to be, to be fair. So. Managing wealth as a mechanator, the new guide. Yeah. Tiny child. Uh, with LMG, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. 
I don't see an option on here either. You keep splits? <laughs> I might, yeah. I was just joking about it earlier, but I might. I don't have a trigger happy person yet either. <sighs> oh, there was a spot missing there. I was like, that's not supposed to happen. I keep an eye on mood. It's taking damage, yeah. A lot of them are missing though because it has cover. Whoa! <laughs> I was wondering about that. Oh, those ones didn't come with it automatically. All right, looks good though. Looking all right. You need to stop shooting. With a little scrap gun. MPs do stun our own. I figured they would. All right. All right. Looking all right. Got a mad alpaca somewhere apparently. So now we can finish this off with uh, with no issue. Hey, freaking alpaca. He's just attacking our lifter mech. Leave him alone. He can't even fight you back. Gonna take some getting used to there. How the mechs interact. Uh, I'm using no pause, P music, and camera plus. 
Everything else is uh, baseline or DLC. I keep an eye on uh, on his mood, but otherwise we're good. Having fun? I think so. Keeps being stuck in the death mode. Can't even turn it off. Anything can do. Uh, I've never had that happen, but you can try to verify integrity of game files. That's the only thing I can think of. So right click on RimWorld in Steam and go and click on um, verify integrity of game files. Super glue, 32 months, Super glue. Thank you, Super glue. Wittiest Warlock, thank you for the five gift subs again. Thank you, Warlock. I have a frag grenade. Yeah, I thought about it, but I I probably just should. I was trying to leave the turrets up for a future raid. But I can just come back and, and do it. It's fine. It's fine. We'll come back the next uh the next day with a with a frag. I should be able to position it enough to where only the uh, EMI gets destroyed. It's at 3.4. It's not even like it's super urgent. Could literally leave it there for a little while, but it's all right. So yeah, anyway, back to this. Uh, so is there a way to do death rest without a death rest bed? Because someone said there was, but I haven't seen a way to do so. We clicked on their bed. They don't have any option in here. I didn't see any option in their health menu or anything, like no bill that we could add. First new DLC with me? That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for being here with me. If you select them and then right-click the bed, okay. There we go. Thank you. Seems like that you need to add a button down here. All right, death rest it is. Collapse into it eventually as well. Yeah, so right-click on their assigned bed. Gotcha. Thank you. Look at that evil little face he's got going on there. All right, way to go, guys. Way to go. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what I was gonna put there, but it doesn't matter. Um, we don't have anyone that's trigger happy, right? I think I would remember trigger happy. We do not. Okay. All right. Head flashes while you're trying to sleep. All the ancient people are dead. Is that new? It is not. No, that can happen sometimes. Child's name Tumor. It's not a tumor. Yeah, find it. Oh, they actually took out that turret. That's surprising, actually. What? Uh, to split. Uh, about 15 minutes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that guy just comes in and takes two of the turrets out with a level one melee. He's trigger happy. Way to go. That's actually going to open up line of sight on that. Super soldier. Oh, is he going to be put out? All right. We don't even need to leave the other. I mean, I guess we'll cover him just in case, but. We'll leave that one there to maybe screw with another raid. Okay.
High psychic drone on the males. Ouch. Ouch. Is there of that name? It just means that we don't I don't want them. Yeah. Don't really want them. In the long run. For one reason or another. Uh, we need to go dump this sometime. How's the recluse doing? Uh, they're neutral right now, so no no increase or debuff in the mood from the recluse right now. Let's see, nine hours left on that. Okay. Uh, second drone high. We still. Oh, the um, the volcano finally ended. Nice. Let's actually start getting some of this stuff done that we need to get done. That's as many spots as I'm going to do right now, and then later on we will increase it further. For now, a very basic, basic box. Okay, does it say how long he'll be in death rest? Let me check. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's at 12%. So three and a half days remaining. Well, wow. went tribal 5%. Second day, party followed by a social fight. And then when Pong gets hit in the head with and brain damage. <laughs> Ouch. So it looks like about three and a half days, three and a half to four days for the death rest. And that's with just a normal bed. So there's other things that can speed it up. Do any of the mech bosses yet? I have not. No, not yet. Not yet. Right now we're searching for a crafter. Mech bosses are off map raids? No, they come to you. Let's go on YouTube, yes. Yes. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna set the first one to just upload already. That way, by the time I'm done streaming, hopefully it will be, uh, it'll be on there. There we go. All right, set to upload. My floor of the inside is run for mood increase i so it's it's interesting because i know a lot of you watch on youtube but between the no kill box run and this run i've done like months of additional runs including several really full runs and uh we determined that the extra wealth from concrete and statues ended up being worth the additional raiders compared to um planting and regrowing regrowing flowers we might have to revisit that now that flowers can be planted in, you know by mechs but in general uh yeah that's why see it's very impressive uh, there we go now it's uploading my bad people writing ama in places no it's not it's an acronym that means ask me anything you can do exclamation ama for us Explanation. Pre-stun all your mechs to adaption so they don't get stunned mid-battle? That's a good question. I bet we can. Let's try it. Where do babies come from? Uh, growth fats. Growth fats. What are the statues made of? These are just made out of whatever stone we had. So these ones are sandstone. How would you rate your IRL bedroom? As far as like quality and beauty and stuff like that in a RimWorld setup? Uh, just, just kind of baseline, just baseline. Let's answer Adam, make answers. Roses, well, it wasn't only because of the growing, it's also because beauty here. So there's a lot of different beauty stats, but the beauty here stat is, is the more important one. And so the beauty here with concrete statues or whatever, um, or concrete and statues can get 
much better than just the flowers around, so. And the flowers are pretty right where they are, but they don't really have that big of an impact. They do on the room stats, so not the beauty nearby stat, if that makes sense. Don't come from natural sources in RimWorld? They can, yeah. Natural sources, yes, they can. <laughs> What's not natural about vat-grown super soldiers? Come on. Has build speed been changed? It's the mech. The mechs have very low build speed, but they don't need to sleep, so... See, like, my character came in. See, you, you'll, you'll be able to see. See, my character comes in, it builds it really quickly. But the mech is very slow at it. But he doesn't need to sleep. Visitors. Are either of you a crafter? No, you're lucky this time. Means I'd have to build double beds. We do have someone in our relationship, but they're not, uh, they're not married yet. So we'll do a very, very basic kill tunnel start here. Just a basic one. Okay. We have sandstone, really, so whatever. We'll use it. Who's the pink box person? Uh, it's a bug right now with child clothing. Uh, apparently, there was a hot fix for it, so I need to reload the game to fix it, but it's just a graphical bug with the new children clothing. So, I need a Burning Passion 10 skill crafter. That'd be excellent. Wait, was one of them? I was going through really quick. Oh my god, you're right! They're only a 10 year old though, and they're a genie. And they're greedy. My bad, uh, I went through it quickly. My eyes just saw the two. Can they already start making weapons at 10 years old? I need this 10 year old girl to make assault rifles or boy, whatever it was. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't actually look. Hey, we're going to take your child. Oh my God. It's a little girl. It's I'm going to take your 10 year old girl to make assault weapons. All right. Hey, why is everyone gathering around? What's going on? What's going on? What is everyone? Why are you guys here? Take him out. Uh, I have kidnapped a little girl in order to make rifles. Uh, is she gonna keep that bug? Nice. I didn't murder the guy. He's still alive. See? He's still alive. I took that orphan in. Will it fix the bug if I strip this 10 year old girl? Oh, God. Tynan, why? He didn't, he didn't make you do this. Have I looked into schools? Not yet. I'm worried about assault rifles first. I think it will literally get rid of the bug though. Wait. I mean, we already have a, we had a three-year-old running around with no pants on with an, with an LMG. Actually he had an assault, uh, he had an auto pistol very early on. And uh, he was unhappy because his groin was uncovered and he was shooting people. So, 
that's that ship has sailed. <laughs> we'll have schools after assault rifles. We gotta get the priorities straight, you know. Oh no, the YouTube algos are gonna hate me. The order of operations. Quest active. Saving a sparrow. 70 year old. Nope. See ya, sparrow. See ya. All right. All right. Uh, we could go ahead and get the update. Yeah, let's see if that fixes it. So we're going to reload the game. Actually, I'm not going to be on here for super, super much longer. So I'll just wait. I'll, and I'll have it reloaded by tomorrow, of course. Uh, have you been in a run yet? I don't remember. Yeah, we've done a lot of runs in the last few months, so I actually don't remember if you've been in one. Sorry. I don't think so, though. Like a turkey doing construction work? And a child... This looks like a turkey? You've seen some strange turkeys in your day. Uh, <laughs> interesting introductions. Uh, yeah, welcome in. Who rated the channel? No one, R squared. No one. Look at the sub count. Without a raid, we went up to like 2,500, 2,600 people. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I can't imagine tomorrow's going to be as high, but it's been insane, man. It's been insane. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. I really thought I was like dreaming. Partially joking, but man, oh man. It really does not feel real. It was insane. Good insane, yeah. Tomorrow's a weekend. It could be even higher. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Um, if we get anywhere close, then awesome. But I can't imagine. Yeah. Can't even comprehend it going any, any further. But. All right. Today was a good day. <laughs> yeah. Earned it. Thank you. Imagine the bounties if it sticks this way. Oh, I have a bounty today. A trailer bounty for one minute. Thank you for the reminder. We have super jump jeans now. That's right. That's right. Okay. You can sell... What? You can sell embryos? Are you... Really? 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 For like eight months or time on Twitch? That's awesome. Thank you, Phil. Thank you for coming in. Um, I need to go get a advanced component. Like, pretty badly. Uh, we also need to recruit them, but... Yeah. And I need to get the double walls going. Acknowledge you? No, I refuse. I refuse. Uh, R squared. Thank you for the five. Some things you R squared. Much appreciated. <laughs> it's been insane, man. Boofester. Thank you for the four months. Doctor Depression. Thank you for the Twitch Prime and Iron Lungs. Thank you for the three months. Thank you guys. Thank you, R squared. Uh, children do give regular sized skulls. Yes, I have figured that out. Yeah. Children give regular sized skulls. If anyone was wondering, yeah. If anyone was wondering. All right, I think I will continue playing until the next raid or event, and then I need to um, get something to eat. Are mods all messed up? With None of my mods are messed up, but I barely use any, so. Yeah. Your results may vary. I guess I'll just start grabbing things that we're going to get later on. Might as well get them out of the way. You gotta go back and watch the VOD? Yeah, man. It was insane, yeah. <laughs> it was just... It was unreal. For like... I don't even know. For like 45 minutes straight, the, I couldn't even read chat because it was just subs. It was insane. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. 
how to make better mechanoids. So you're going to have to get the research. So after you get electricity research, you can get basic mech tech, which will start you out uh, with the stuff that I have. Then after that, you're going to need to get a, um, you're going to need a signal chip, which from what I understand is mainly from, um, uh, from summoning, from summoning the, the boss mechs. And then that will allow you to then research up to standard mechs where you can get scythers and some other new things. I ended up at 1518. Yeah, you subbed at 300. It's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah, the pollution is going to be a problem for sure. Okay. In the long run. Just something basic there for right now. It's the new expansion, yes. How do you summon boss mechs? I, I'm guessing it's with the comms console, but I haven't, I haven't built one, so I, I don't know 100% if that's right. I'm guessing comms console. All right. I did, yeah, I replied to you. Yeah, I will. Uh, that's what I was saying when I said I will, I guess. I might not have mentioned the actual uh, raid part, but. Okay. Advent Wolf, thank you for the gift sub. So howdy, Phoenix. So appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Trevor. It's crazy. On PS4 and mobile. I got you. Yeah, that does suck. All right. We're going to get, uh, we're going to get this set up for collision. Then we'll at least have a semblance of a, of a kill area. It is the comms console. Thank you. It's the top option. So be careful when trade ships come. Oh no, I got food poisoning. 2.2 days on that mech, okay. Randy has been awfully quiet though. Awfully quiet. Three days ago, can't sub yourself. You're going to pass it along. Thank you, Wolf. So yeah, we're just knocking out some research that we might need for later on. So. Might as well, might as well. And we're waiting on the cooldown on the join. And I... How are these prisoners? This one I don't want. So we're going to set them up as a blood feed. And this one... 10.3, uh, okay. Like five seconds. Good luck. Good luck, Noah. Is that guy's body missing? It's it's a bug, yeah. Supposedly there's already uh, a hot fix to fix it, but I won't be on here super much longer, so uh, I'll have the hot fix by tomorrow. It, it's to do with children's clothing right now, or it did. Uh, it doesn't let you do a mechanic tour start as a baby. It's not an option. If you click on adult, it won't let you change it. Malaria. Uh, that sucks. That sucks. That's not the event I wanted before I wrap things up. Didn't hit a ton of people, though. It hit two of the sacrifices, which is kind of funny. And I have major food poisoning, so can okay, let's see. Well, right click is just a romance option now too. Any more DLC drops for you? Um, I I'm gonna have some giveaways tomorrow and Sunday. Some other people have have asked me if they can do some giveaways in the chat. It's like absolutely. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is doing more today. I'm not sure yet. Oh, with random plus, you're able to roll it into a baby? Gotcha. Yeah, it's not, you're not supposed to be able to, but I guess, yeah, with mods, I guess it is possible. I'm not sure what would happen there. My sacrifice had malaria. That's funny. Adam, please. <laughs> All right, we'll see how they do. See how they do. Okay. Definitely need more power. 
it's another update. Yeah, someone else is saying that too. That it fixes this issue and then another one. What's the biggest addition? This is it's it's friggin' massive. I have videos up on YouTube about all the different parts, but it's it's really big. It's the size of like two DLCs. It's it's, it's definitely at least the size of ideology and royalty. It it adds so much. Yeah, I couldn't just go over it in a in a blip. Respect age when it comes to backgrounds and whatnot, as well. So that's what. Yeah, that must be what's doing it. Yeah. But all right, I gotta keep an eye on this. Uh, so let's see here. He's beating it pretty handily. There as well. Which one do I need up soonest? They're mainly doing mining and art. Construction and plants. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and uh, preach health on Sparky. Why have you imprisoned a purple square? Uh, this is a 10 year old girl that's going to make rifles for us after she's recruited. Yeah. People complain about the price. I mean, I understand that muddy is relative for everyone. But I mean, the amount of entertainment out of $25 is kind of insane. Like people will go and they'll spend that like at McDonald's and be done with with it in 20 minutes or something. Or they'll go to a movie and be done with that amount of money in two hours and I'm guessing the the average player will probably get a few hundred or hundreds of hours out of that 25 bucks. And for me, I'll get thousands, you know? You wish you were here for it? Yeah, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. They want to behave themselves? I have no idea. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> Boredom. I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> Isn't it Preach Health and AoE that you can use on multiple people at once? No, it is not. I don't know if you have a mod or something, but a sick or wounded person. Let's go to our dash order yesterday, 25. It's definitely a great price. Yeah, it's crazy. We might have a mod that impacts or something, but no baseline, it's a single, single target. Malaria. They're actually all beating it. They're all beating it. You read it yesterday in the wiki. Well, the wiki is wrong about a lot of things, yeah. So it's it's not an AoE. There are some AoE things from ideology, but preach health is a is a single. It's like a bedside manner thing where the they come and they pre preach for you to get better and that person gets better more quickly. Yeah, the wiki is, can be wrong about quite a few things and it has been in the past. Fun ratio is like Terraria, yeah, yeah. Been how? Finally off work. Toxic waste can't be stored on shelves. It cannot. Malaria bioweapons. How long until this other mech's done? We're just kind of waiting out malaria before we do anything else. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, but it is a single target. Yeah. That would be pretty friggin' awesome if you could AoE use Preach Health. But, uh... Because yeah. it's a one-on-one -on -one talk with the moral guide. That would be really awesome. <laughs> Actually. Lands too. Okay. Best bang for your buck DLC? I think so, yeah. Like I said, it's it's relative. I know 25 bucks is a lot, but it, when I think of time per money, time per dollar value, either way. So why is it cheaper? There's regional pricing. Where are you seeing it for 40 bucks at? It's 25 USD. Uh, I have not grown any tox potatoes because we're on a we're on a good map, yeah. So far. Uh, no, I'm not gonna use. I I don't plan on using the singularity kill box on this run. I mean, I might try one to see how mechs operate it on their own, just to see. But I I don't have any plans of using it. It's a little OP, yeah. New Zealand, yeah. It's regional pricing. 
I've, yeah. So the funny thing is, R squared, you'll probably see if you watch the VOD, but when we got to like the 1400 subscribers, I was like, I was about to say, I was like, man, I don't think I've ever seen this amount of subs, even in channels where people have thousands of viewers. And then I was like, wait a minute. We have 2,500 viewers. I was like, holy crap. At the moment, this is a channel with thousands of viewers. It was, it's really nuts, yeah. It's like, oh, wait, that's me at the moment. It was, uh, yeah, it was crazy. Crazy. Uh, uh oh, our first social fight. What is this about? What is this about? Get a life gamer insulted Atomic's intellectual skill. Well, Atomic, let's take a look here. 18 burning passion. What? Get a life is a four. <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, Buddha, thank you for the five good stuff. Thank you, Buddha. And Boshka, thank you for the $15 donation. Quarterly dues a month behind. Well, my t-shirt in black and the club keychain shipped. <laughs> Same address as always. So. Thank you, Boshka. Crash, thank you for the resub. Bane. Lug, thank you as well. Uh, yes, yeah, it's actually the first part of today's, like the first two hours is already uploading on YouTube right now. It's on the other, on the other PC, yep. Long hard road. Yeah, I was talking about it. I actually started streaming in 2012, so it's kind of been nuts, but I and I know it won't stay up this high, nowhere near, but it's it's still crazy while it lasts, you know. The regional pricing is all screwed up. Yeah, so that's why though, but it's 25 USD. And the regional pricing with Steam is whatever, wherever. Wait, where's the other hang on? Sparky. You go there. Okay. Uh, all of the sound things are off right now, yeah. For the first day of this, yeah. Because I knew it would end up being nuts. We had, we had literally hundreds of thousands of channel points being used at once as well, and yeah. I, I already didn't play for like, probably a couple of hours of this, because I was just like thinking people and and doing things, so I figured I probably shouldn't have that stuff on. Apparently Twitch unfollowed you. Sad times. Shy, welcome back. Welcome back. No worries. No worries. Don't worry anyone yet. Soon. Summon Granny 200 times. Yeah. That's what it would have been. I really wanted to do, uh, have another raid happen before we do anything else, but it'll show me what the peak is. Yeah. I'll look and let you guys know in uh, in Discord. Rat, thank you for the resub. Thank you, Rat. That seed is not up to date. This is just a random map. You're in the game, yeah. You are. King Q. You are. Check out these lamp colors. Whoa. What? Uh, it's crazy. Been up right in a while. Soon. Yeah, I have not, but I will be soon. You have a screenshot of 2500. Look at the menu, the RGB lamp menu. You can do default or dark light and then change the color and the color temperature. That's crazy. All right, research room. Let's do it. research room um let's go with something that you can't usually get let's see what like green lights get you it's kind of pale it's kind of pale so i mean the concrete isn't helping that any it's kind of crazy Full hue on the lights, yeah. Further expansion on top of biotech? I am, yeah. All the DLCs. How much does it matter building next to the Guarlin seed? The Guarlin? Um, I haven't done, like, a guide on how much the Guarlin. It actually impacts it quite a bit. In fact, because it's pruning and work speed rather than grass growth, I think overall it actually is, is kind of worse for it in general. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't done the exact specifics of Guarlin. I have of the, um, the anima tree. I have a guide for that. But, yeah, that's a good question. I have not 
not really done the math on the on the Gorlin. Pink box still there? Of course. Of course. A new mech. All right, let's see what their names are. Ratchet. Ratchet and Marv. Ratchet and Marv. Okay. So we are up to our nine bandwidth now. So we have nine mechs. And six of those have shotguns. <laughs> Pale blue lights and another war crime to add to your list. That's right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good for the eyes. No, it's the absolute opposite. You can actually make it look kind of brighter than the baseline, too. Hmm. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it does kind of give it a little bit... A little brighter, like a glow. There we go. Pink. Pink. Why do animatry this run? Ah, it's just not in a great place anyway, so. Speaking robots, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. I might make one of those boxes just to see how the robots alone do in it, but we'll see. I haven't figured it out. No, I must've missed something when everything crazy was happening. So I don't know what that one's from. Doc, welcome in. 21 months, thank you Doc, thank you for the resub. Doc, if I had alert sounds turned on, it would have literally been going for like two hours or something. I appreciate it though. I appreciate it. Doc, welcome back. Haven't touched Switch in some time. Yeah, man, it's been a crazy day. It would still be going probably, yeah, honestly. If Wayne June was doing it nonstop. Yeah. Growth moment. Perfect. We got our first growth moment. You hear that noise? It's kind of a weird noise. All right, our experimental child, let's see. All right, let's think about this. Did we give our experimental child nourishment? No, uh, we did not, we did not. Did we give them some kind of like school to, to be in or you know, some kind of comfortable place to sleep? We did not. What did we give them? We gave them an LMG and we had them bitten by a vampire um, and he has like five confirmed kills. Let's see what options we get out of that. Look at this new menu. Has reached the biological age of seven, has experienced a growth moment. Is now old enough to do the following work. So they can start doing real work at seven. Choose one skill to increase his passion for. He got trigger happy. What? <laughs> yes, get good at crafting kid. Trigger happy drugs, a seven year old with drugs, lazy or night owl. I wonder if he really did get that because of what we did. Very nice, very nice. The LMG did work. This menu is pretty friggin' awesome. I like this. Oh man, we gotta get a vat room of soldiers going. So. When this growth moment happened, experience was adding growth tier five. Children at higher growth tiers get more trait and passion options. Choose from and more passion overall. Satisfying the learning need helps the child grow. Growth tiers are reset after each one. So yeah. So we get a minor passion. It's pretty cool. Just likes pulling the trigger. He shoots faster than others, but less accurately. So it just says the same as any of them. All right. So he gets a passion in it, but no extra skills in it. And now he's a fast walking, trigger happy. Excellent, excellent. Worth it, worth it. All right, guys, as much as I hate to do it, uh, I am going to wrap things up because I gotta eat. I haven't eaten since early this morning and I need to get the first episode up on YouTube, but I will be back with more of this tomorrow. I hope to see a lot of you there. Uh, let me end this recording and then I have two quick things to do before we head out, if you would. Uh, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'm, I feel behind the run, which is kind of silly, but today was just a fun day, right? It wasn't like a challenge day or something, but, um, yeah, let me end the recording and then I'll let you know what's up.